In the previous lectures, we have seen the basics of Cisco Packet Tracer using hubs and switches. In today's session, let's have a look at the basics of router. Firstly, we will start with the outcomes of today's session. In today's session, we are going to know the basics of routers and we are going to understand how to connect two different local area network using router theoretically. In the previous lecture, we have seen the difference between hub and switch and in today's lecture, we will understand the difference between switch and router. Let's have a look at the basics of router now. A router is a networking device that forwards data packets between computer networks. When we say computer networks, they are two different local area networks. When two different local area networks wants to communicate with each other, they need a router in order to do this communication. Let's understand like this. A local area network which uses the IP addressing scheme that starts with the IP address 10 for all the devices in the local area network. And we have another local area network that starts with the IP address 200. Computers in the local area network that starts with the IP address 10, if it wants to communicate with the computers that is starting with the IP address 200, then this communication cannot be established using switches because switches connect devices that are belonging to the same network. We need somebody to connect two different local area networks and the solution for this problem is routers. A router is connected to at least two networks, commonly two local area networks or wide area networks or a local area networks and its ISPs network. It means a router can connect two local area networks or two wide area networks or one local area networks to the internet. Let's assume we own a small office that contains 50 computers. If we want communication among all the 50 computers in our local area network, then switch alone is sufficient. But if we want internet connectivity to all the 50 computers, then we have to establish a communication from our local area network to the external network that is the internet. So we need the help of the internet service provider. Let's assume our router has two interfaces or ports. One interface is going to be connected to our local area network and the another interface is going to be communicating with the router in the ISP's network that is the internet service providers network. So our router which we place in our campus, one side it is going to connect our local area network and the other side is going to connect to the ISP's network and it is the responsibility of the ISP network to provide internet connectivity to our local area network. We will understand more about this when we see an example. For time being, a router connects at least two different local area networks. You may ask me a question, is there any difference between a router and a switch? Because both are networking device only. A switch is a local area network and it is a layer 2 device. Whereas a router, it is a layer 3 device because it operates in network layer. Whereas a switch, it is a layer 2 device that operates in data link layer. And like switches, do we have any memory in router? Yes, of course, we have memory in router and router store routing table in its memory, whereas switch stores MAC address table in its memory. So far, we have seen the basics of router. Let's see the working of a router now. Suppose if this is the router and let's assume this router is going to connect two local area network to be precise two different local area networks. Let's say these two are the different networks. This is local area network one and this is local area network two. And this local area network is having the IP addressing scheme as 10.0.0.0 and this local area network is having the IP addressing scheme as 192.168.1.0 and this is the subnet mask that we are going to provide to all the PCs, to all the devices in this local area network and this is the subnet mask that is going to be provided to all the devices in this local area network. So in this case, if any device that starts with IP address 10 belonging to this local area network. In this case, any device that starts with IP address 192.168.1 belonging to this local area network. If any device starts with IP address 10, wants to send some data to another device that starts with IP address 10, switch is enough to establish this communication so it can do local area network communication. Let's assume this router has two interfaces. One interface is going to connect this local area network and another interface is going to connect this local area network. To understand the working of a router, let's have a situation like this. Let there are two computers. 
this is one computer which is belonging to this local area network which is having the IP address as 10.0.0.8 and let this be the MAC address of this computer. And let this computer be in this local area network which is having an IP address 192.168.1.5 and this is the MAC address of this computer. The MAC address are used to communicate inside internally in the local area network. Suppose if this computer wants to send any data to another computer which is in this local area network, switch can do this communication with the help of this MAC address. Whereas if this computer that is the computer with the IP address 10.0.0.8 wants to communicate with the computer 192.168.1.5. So both the computers are having different IP address schemes. So it means these two computers are belonging to two different networks. So switch cannot establish communication among these two devices. So we need a router to do this communication. And as I already mentioned, this router has two interfaces. Let this be the interface. And this interface must be a part of this local area network. And this interface must be a part of this local area network. And this interface must be assigned with the IP address belonging to this local area network. Let's assume this interface is having the IP address 10.0.0.10. And similarly, this interface is having the IP address 192.168.1.10 and this IP address is belonging to this local area network. So we can see this router is having two interfaces. One interface is connecting one local area network and the other interface is connecting another local area network. Now, when computers in this local area network wants to do internal communications, which can do that. But if computer wants to communicate with other network, it has to send the packet to this interface or to this router and this router forwards the data to this interface and finally the data will be received by the destination. Let's have a scenario now. Suppose if this computer wants to send some data, this message to this computer and it is well known that this computer is going to use the destination IP address as 192.168.1.5 but this destination IP address is not going to be in this local area network. So what this computer have to do is that it has to send the data to this interface that is 10.0.0.10 and it becomes the responsibility of this router to forward the data to this side and finally the data will be received by the destination. So let's see the animation now. So the computer has generated the data. Now this data will be received by this interface that is 10.0.0.10 and this router forwards the data to the other interface which is 192.168.1.10 and the data finally is received by the destination. What we have to understand from this is that the router has two interfaces. One interface is going to connect to this local area network and the other interface is going to connect another local area network. And these two interfaces are going to have IP addresses. The IP address of this interface that is 10.0.0.10 is going to be the default gateway for all the PCs in the local area network. We have already seen that default gateway means it is the IP address of the first router that it is going to hit. Similarly, all the PCs in this local area network or all the devices in this local area network will be using the default gateway as 192.168.1.10. And that's the working of a router is. Let's see the difference between the router and the switch now. So switch versus router. A network switch or simply a switch is a computer network device that is used to connect many devices together on a computer network that is the local area network. Whereas a router is a networking device that connects a local area network to other local area network. And the second point is that switch operates at the data link layer that is it is a layer 2 device. Whereas a router it operates at the network layer it is a layer 3 device. Switch has a memory and it stores the MAC address table. A router also has a memory and it stores the routing table. As far as a switch is concerned, the forwarding decisions are taken based on the MAC address, whereas the forwarding decisions are taken based on the IP address in case of router. Switch can work in half duplex as well as full duplex mode, whereas router can work in full duplex mode. So obviously a switch is a local area network device, Whereas a router can be in a local area network, metropolitan area network and wide area network. And that's the difference between a switch and a router. Let's see what we have seen today. We know the basics of routers and we understood how to connect two different local area network using routers theoretically. And we also understood the difference between switch and router. And that's it guys. 
I hope you enjoyed the session and thank you for watching.